On the, uh, there, there has been some concern, and I confess I'm concerned too, about constructing warrant articles that re will result in withdrawing money to fund the purposes from the undesignated fund balance. So I just wanted to maybe refresh our memory. Um, in the, let's see, uh, our ordinances, section 611-3, uh, and this, I think, came in pretty near, either you helped with it or it I came wrote in it. pretty near, you wrote it. The balance of the unreserved, undesignated fund shall, once accumulated, at all times be no less than the balance of unpaid property taxes due to the town for municipal, school, and county, and precinct obligations as computed on December 31st of each year by the auditors plus 5% of the net adjusted appropriations of the taxes to be raised and recommended by the New Hampshire Department of Revenue Admin and calculated under general accounting standards. I'm just concerned lest we strip what is a valuable resource for us, and we've been talking about getting some rainy day fund or snowy day fund or whatever, but that fund, in my estimation, should be used as the backstop in case of a, a big disaster. I, when I talked to, um, uh, I think it was Steve Hamilton, the state recommends seven five percent seven percent seventeen percent there's a good size range there for communities to keep so i'm concerned about drawing against that on a consistent basis so that's something once we get the audit if we can sit down and take a look at it i'd be a little more comfortable i think if i can get a better grip on what we what we have i noticed there are three in the audit for 2013 there are three designations. There's um, decrease in non-spendable uh, fund balance, there's an increase in committed fund balance, and there's an increase in assigned fund balance, and that's on page 38 of the audit. Um, and the 2013 is the only one I have. But I would just like to make sure that we're not causing problems for the town on a long-term basis by drawing too much money from that fund. State's regulation is that we have to retain, that it's a recommendation. There's not even a regulation. Deal right. And some towns don't do it. Some towns don't do it and you don't have to. Right. But the, the state's recommendation is that you keep at least 5% right. of the town's appropriation, not including capital outlay and not including bond issues. Uh, which brings our total outlay down very substantially because we have a lot of capital outlay and we have a lot of bond issues. Um, the amount of money that um, back in 2007 that we had outstanding uh, was about $3.5 million in unpaid taxes. Now it's about $1.7 million. Right. So it's substantially less. Uh, recently, and I, I, I don't remember the figure, but it was getting pretty close to 12% mm -hmm. that we had available mm -hmm. in the reserve fund versus the 5% that the state would recommend that we hold. 5 to 17%. Well, it's a case. recommendation. Right. And uh, right. there's no statutory authority for it at right. all. But we do have the ordinance on the books. Well, no, we have a selectman's regulation. Well, Chapter 611. It's a selectman's regulation. I amount. think he understands it where he's the one that wrote it. I just, I just want to make sure before I vote for anything that's going to be funded out of, uh, on the Warren articles, that's going to be funded out of the undesignated fund balance. I just want to understand what that undesigna undesignated fund balance amounts to and what the impact would be if we're using it to fund these various articles.